so congrats to them. All right. You know, earlier we had some bouts of pouring rain in downtown Queen Queen, but then I saw your radar and like people were like, huh, what's she uh -huh. talking about? <laughs> I, I think some folks are even yeah. like, I haven't had a drop in right. the past 48 hours. They might not even have a drop tomorrow. Mm. But we did this whole thing yesterday, like complete copy and paste. I think we're living in a little deja vu kind of world. And you know, in Northeast Ohio, if you don't like the forecast, just wait a couple of days, things will change. It'll be a little warmer in a couple of days too, if you don't like where we've been sitting. We've got Got some light wet weather still continuing across the area. Often we talk about the brighter tones on your screen as the intensity of wet weather. So yes, we've had some bursts of maybe moderate pockets of wet weather, but this time of the year when we get some of these brighter tones and our radar sweeps, often that's a meteorological term that we call bright banding. So mixing in some of that much cooler air aloft, trying to produce maybe a little sleet, maybe a little grapple. Those dip and dots Mother Nature can produce. So from the Cleveland metro area all the way out to Solon, Auburn, Middlefield, Chester too, closer to 90 near Euclid, all seeing continuing light rainfall at the moment. And that's all driven by the fact that we've got a warm body of water still. And then that north northwest wind coming right off of it. And again, it's much cooler above the surface. And that's why we continue to get some of this wet weather. But further inland, it's dry as dry could be. And in fact, the clouds may part a little and that'll help your temperatures drop just a little bit more. We can continue to have the reinforcing shot of much cooler air from further north, but it's all driven by the position of the exact same system we were talking about yesterday, the day before that, and the day before that. This upper level low is becoming cut off from everything else, so it's just kind of spinning about, and it's going to hold there through the day tomorrow. So timing it out in your National Design Mart big picture forecast. I've even tossed some words up on the screen for you to kind of drive the forecast home just a little bit more so. For your Monday, this lake effect is going to linger because the system as a whole doesn't move all too much, and we keep with those breezy conditions. We've had gusts today above 30 miles per hour at the immediate lake shore. That's going to hold in place through the day tomorrow. I think the further you're away, obviously from the lake, the better that breeze will actually be. Maybe it can open the windows for a hot second and air out the house. For Tuesday, though, the breeze starts to depart. The rain chances start to leave us. A spotty shower can't be ruled out especially in some of our eastern communities, but we get fewer clouds inland and that's key here as well. I'm actually showing you our low temperatures for the next several evenings and that's because when we start to break the clouds and we get clear skies overnight, our temperatures can plummet and even at Cleveland Hopkins in some locations closer to the immediate lakeshore, which are used to be or can sometimes be moderated by the actual lake water, our temperatures are still going to be plenty cool. Waking up tomorrow and the next couple of days, will likely be in the low to mid 40s. Our average low this time of the year is about 50 degrees. And some of you further inland, again, away from the lake where we're likely to have breaks in the cloud cover and temperatures can actually drop a little further. You might wake up to the mid to upper 30s in places. This is Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. Potentially Dover right around that freezing mark. So patchy frost is a possibility the further you get away from US 30, I think right around there. So the Akron Canton area might be be kind of thinking when have we actually had our average first frost and has it happened yet? Well, it hasn't necessarily for a lot of you, but it takes place in October. So those chances continue for us. Temperatures over the next several hours are going to hover in the 40s. I don't think a lot of you deal with patchy frost, but there's still a possibility going forward in the next couple of days. If you send the kiddos off to school tomorrow, make sure they're layered up. Temperatures are going to be in the low 40s as they head on home. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s. That's feeling like mid November and not early to the middle of October. Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast. We're back near uh, the mid 60s as we approach the end of the week. But unfortunately, Lena, next weekend does not look that much better than this weekend. <laughs> okay, thanks, Peyton.